Hello and welcome to the Gamegasm Weekly Update. As usual, we tell you really cool stuff every week on a Thursday. And today is Thursday and we're about to tell you some cool stuff, aren't we Jay? Yes we are! Okay. Right, what have we got? <laughs> so we're going to kick this week off with um, some news from Activision. Activision. So everyone knows this, but Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy completely smashed expectations. Well, did we expect anything yeah, less? Yeah, as, as if they really didn't see that coming. Yeah. And because of that now, they are thinking of maybe reviving some of their other games. So oh, really? Spyro, perhaps? Oh, well, th it's got to happen. I it's mean, It's like the most requested <laughs> game, I think, now yeah, since Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon kind of like just went together time era-wise for those yeah. cartoon platform games. So, yeah. let's see Spyro, and dare I say it, let's see Croc? Ooh, now there's a title we haven't heard from for a while. Uh, yeah, Croc and... Uh, what was the other one? Gets Gex. the Gecko. Yeah, yeah, Gets the Gecko. Bring them back. Yeah. 90s platformers. Come on, let's yeah, go. Yeah, we already had a taste of it, like ukulele, and it worked. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not we bring back some of the good ones? Yeah, yeah. And let us know in the comments what games you would like to see come back as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Obviously, we want to hear what you guys say. Siphon filter. Anyway, so Kerry, leave we, the we, comments we could, we could go on all day, but yeah, let us know what, uh, what you think in the comments below. Um, also, Horizon Zero Dawn's DLC, The Frozen Worlds, now officially has a release date. Ah, oh, November 7th. Hey, there you go. November yeah. 7th. Yeah, so it's going to feature a massive area with new Dinobots and new Dino bots. characters. Yeah. <laughs> Transforms trademark. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit, but oh well. But you know what I mean. Then it's set in. People are saying Yellowstone in like. Oh, sweet. Because of the, the, the geezers and the, the, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Yeah, geezers. so. Geezers, geezers. Them, Ga eight, eight, geyser, eight, isn't it? Eight, geyser. It is a geyser. Geyser. <laughs> it is a geyser. Geyser, 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 geyser. geyser, geyser, geyser. Uh, tomato, tomato. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's <laughs> coming November 7th, and I cannot wait to get back into that world. Awesome. Nino Cooney, um, a lot of oh, people yeah. are waiting for this one. It got delayed, didn't it? It got delayed into January, and they haven't, up to this point, announced a collector's edition, which has made people think, hmm, are they going to do one? Yes, they are! Way. Five, to be exact. Five? Yeah. Yeah, there's five different ones. So there's the day one edition. <laughs> right. There's the digital deluxe edition, which oh, can well, burn in no hell. No one cares um, about that. A premium prince, king, and collector's edition. Wow. Each one features various different... Add-ons and DLC, little and, bits and bobs, yeah, and stuff. figurines oh. and like cardboard boxes. Well, you collect can, them yeah. all, except yeah. for the digital deluxe version, because no, no one, that, that no one cares. Hell. That can burn in hell. And they have no. announced that it has got a season pass as well. Ooh, wow! Which, which is I don't know why games have season passes now. It does annoy me, but it, yeah, especially when the game hasn't come out yet. Yeah, it's like, well, couldn't you just put put it in, in maybe the game? Yeah, but yeah. the good thing is with this one, at least most of the collector's editions have the season pass with it. Which right. Is something yeah. they stopped doing for some other games. So, yeah. although the they'll set you back like a hundred odd pound for some of these collector's editions, but at least you can have the season pass anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So, and I'm probably going to buy one. Let's face it. <laughs> uh, move on to something. <laughs> Destiny Two. Okay. So this All is right. though. Obviously, we're hearing more and more stuff about it. They've got some really strange promotions. Okay. Um, the first one is they're doing a five pack scented candle set. Well, Resident Evil 7 did this. Yeah, but it's basically, <laughs> it's each of the different worlds that you go to yeah. have the collectible. So we, we all remember bloody spin metal from the first one. <laughs> um, that's what the scents are. So the earth one is spin metal. So you can smell, you can smell spin, spin metal. metal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just, just let that sink in for a moment. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Yeah, but there's um, a ghost candle holder as well. Really? And, yeah. <laughs> and they're falling into the trap of um, promotions with food as well. So Rock, Rockstar Energy, the energy drink, if you buy that or Pop-Tarts randomly, <laughs> um, you can get EXP boosts and DLC. I, I don't know what oh DLC yet. God. Yeah. What is happening to the gaming and it industry? it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there? In the UK, if you have Virgin Fibre, so the company Virgin Media, if you have your fibre through them, you'll get a sparrow to use in the game. I, I honestly, I hate this. It's really it's weird. It's horrible. It's bizarre. This is disgusting. It's, a, it's, a, it, it's just basically, how can we diversify the gaming industry in the shittiest ways possible? Yeah. Buy a Pop-Tart. Buy a pop tart for some XP energy drink. Boosts. Yeah, and it's, play Destiny for your it's stupid coloured gun. It's stupid. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. 
It's almost as bad as when what was it? Um, was it Call of Duty? Call of Duty point? with Doing Monster was it? Monster Red Bull. Energy? Was, was it Red, oh, no, Bull? Red Bull? And you had to buy the cans, uh, and you'd get like a level or something. I think it was Call of Duty with Monster, and it was wasn't it Halo with Red Bull or something like that? It's something like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. I, I don't even care, but like. It's just, it's shitty that it's like, right, so if I want to play this extra level, I've got to go and buy, like, five cans of Red Bull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Piss off. Yeah, so <laughs> if you want an EXP boost to keep up with your friends, you've got to go and buy a crate of Rockstar. And Pop-Tarts. And potentially have a heart attack for drinking too much energy drink. Yeah, but it's okay. Seriously. Well done, guys. Well done for promoting healthy eating by putting gaming unlockables in fucking Pop-Tarts and energy drinks, you sick... Scum, <laughs> you sick motherfuckers. But it doesn't sound as good as um, if you want an EXP boost, go buy a six pack of as uh, apples from your local Asda. See, well, that's good. That would be the, the, the gaming industry getting behind healthy living. But it doesn't sound right, does it? It doesn't sound right. That's not the point, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get fat on sugar and play Destiny. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. That's my <laughs> September sorted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so moving on. Uh, last week we talked about so, um, some new controllers and yeah. we highlighted a really crap <laughs> Destiny 2, funnily enough. <laughs> a really <laughs> naff <laughs> Destiny 2 PS4 controller. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't great. Now yeah. there's a new PS4 controller coming out and it's a football themed one. Oh, so God. one, let that sink in. Hang on a minute. minute. British football or American football? Um, soccer. Soccer. So okay, British, so British football, football, American soccer. Soccer. Um, and it's just navy blue with right. a couple of stickers on the handle again, just like the Destiny one, and the penalty box on the touchpad. Is it, I'm, I'm going to assume this is for FIFA coming it's out. It's just for, just for sh Sony, PlayStation, FC. And giggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Um, for, for no apparent reason. So I don't know who at the moment is designing these PlayStation controllers, but I think they need to have, we need to have a word with them. Someone needs to go into their office and scream in their face. Yeah. What are you doing? Mm -hmm, because what it's is... not great. Yeah. As far as custom <laughs> controllers, you know, how good they could be, that's, yeah. just, that's just not on. I mean, I, I... They, they should take a look at what Xbox are doing. Oh yeah, Xbox controllers. have got some Xbox really good controllers. ones coming out. Yes, you are winning. You are winning, you are making us really exclusive controllers. Just got to get around to the games now, but <laughs> the controllers are looking really nice. PlayStation 4, on the other hand, we've got some really good games and really good exclusives, but your, your custom controllers, they suck. Yeah. Yeah, Big and time. what's more, so it's out September 29th, if you really want one, um, <laughs> and at the moment, they're not releasing it in the UK, which is so, weird. Hang on a minute, so they're releasing a British uh, soccer-themed PlayStation 4 controller, and they're not releasing not in it the in the UK. UK. No. UK. Well, I think you, the UK is one of the biggest countries for football. I think it's like... It's, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's it's big. Yeah, you and know. it's not coming out over here. No. So, I'm... Uh, yeah. Because, um, I, I, I mean, like... Yeah. It's, it's like... Um, it's like releasing a baseball game only in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah well, I whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. No, it's Sony, fine. step up your game with your controllers, please, because yeah. they're naff. And your locations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> <laughs> so sticking with controllers, here's a good one for you. And the last story is, there's a new N64 controller coming out. I'm, I'm sorry, Yeah, what? it's only been 20 years since the console. <laughs> okay. But, I, mean, I mean, everyone must have fond memories of playing the N64. The only thing I, which was, I was playing it the other day. Yeah. It was, it was the only great. thing which was bad about it was the controller, really. I mean, it's a, it's a nice feeling controller, don't get me wrong, it, it, but I don't... Who's got three hands to hold each bit? Well, bit? you didn't do that. It was each game like you'd either hold it that way, or you could hold it that way, or you could hold it like that. It was, it was, it was Nintendo being here's a choice of how you'd like to play the game, and it gave developers a range of different ways to make the. Okay, it sucked. Yeah, it, it was difficult to use, yeah. but it, it, I liked it. I got on with it. Yeah, no, for some games it worked really well. For others, it was really horrible. Yeah. However, there's a new one coming out. Okay. On Kickstarter. Oh. Um, so this yeah. wait, this is unofficial. Then. This is unofficial. It's not okay. Nintendo. No. Mm -hmm. so, so someone's answered the question of, can we get a better N64 controller? Yes. It's modelled on the new Switch Pro controller, so it looks very okay. similar to that. Um, so you can get you get a feel of how comfortable it's going to feel. Yeah. It's still got 29 days to go. However, for its $13,000 target, it's already over 30000 Wow. So it's definitely coming. So it's happening. Yeah. Wow. It's definitely happening. And it's only uh, $20 or £15. Pound. Really? Yeah. And I might get one myself. <laughs> it's, so it 
it still has um, slots to plug in your N64 memory cards and the Rumble Rump Pack. Oh, it's got... Yeah, it's got it. <laughs> it's got it. Oh, sold. Yeah. Sold. You just shut up and take my money. Yeah, so if you want to... Uh, if you can back them still on Kickstarter. Like said, they've got 29 days to go. Um, if you So $20 or £15 gets you the controller. If you want to pledge $45 or more, they'll also add your name to the list of people to help that help make it. Nice. So yeah, that's, that's a good that, incentive. That, that's coming. Yeah. But, yeah. So well, is that is that for like that'll work on because obviously N sixty fours and all that were all region locked, weren't they? But the controllers aren't. Are they? No, no, no. No, it's okay. Just cool. a cable that plugs into your, yeah. your console. Cool. So yeah, there is a new N sixty four controller coming. I, I can't wait to get one. <laughs> How random! <laughs> Even they can do better controllers than the PlayStation. Moving on. <laughs> and that's it for the news for this week. That's it. That's yeah. all done. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. Uh, controller heavy. It was a bit controller heavy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, but it's good. Yes. But uh, last week, obviously, and every week, we ask you to drop us questions in the comment section below, and we'll read them out in the following week's update. And it's now the following week, so we're going to go through the comments and read a few out. We're, we might not get to all of them, but we'll, we'll try our best. But uh, Jason, who's the first comment from? Okay, so the first comment comes from Andy M. Hey, Andy. How's it Yo. going? He asks, have we got any tips when making video game capture videos? Sometimes he has mic capture issues. Mm, I wouldn't have a clue on how to make anything regarding video game videos. No, no so idea. it's not really our forte. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well tips, um, I guess, like, a good quality microphone is always a plus. Um, there's many of them around. We use blue microphones. A lot of YouTubers use blue microphones. And we also use Audacity to capture the audio from a separate laptop, which is here, because the camera mic is terrible. Yeah. So that's one way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, for game <laughs> capture, we use the Elgato. Yep, we do the, the Elgato. The, not the HD60, but no, the one... the game capture HD, the first one they did. Yeah, which is... we should probably upgrade that soon. Nah, All right. fine. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so uh, yeah, you use those. Well, we use those. Other game capture devices are available. Yeah, so yeah, there's but... plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube on how to get a good gaming setup. Uh, yeah, yeah. Peruse a few of those, Andy. I'm sure they'll answer all your questions. Yeah. We're by all no no means the masters. We still have issues every now and again. We as do. Well. The main thing to take away from this, Andy, is if you're going to make YouTube videos, nothing is ever easy or simple. No, I think Ever. we say that every day we do something, don't we? Every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Andy. Thank we you. answered uh, a little bit of your question yeah. there. <laughs> uh, next, we go to Cook Us Nerdy Corner. Hey, how's it going? He says, just like you guys, I'm very excited for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Yes. Let's just hope we hear some news on that soon. He says, but we have to address the elephant in the room. Oh, okay. Not you. Um, <laughs> 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 Resi 3 Nemesis. <laughs> How do you guys feel if the remake was both Resi 2 and 3 combined? I or would like even this. worse, a future in future a paid story DLC pack for Jill Story. Nah, that would suck. But if you took Resident Evil 2 and 3 and mashed them together in one glorious episode that kept chopping and changing and stuff, I think that would be really good. Yeah, in they, fact, I'm not sure why an indie gamer hasn't yeah, an indie developer hasn't already tried to do that. No, because the stories are set side by side. Yeah, they're kind of Near interlinking. Enough. Yeah, yeah, close enough. Yeah, but yeah, that, that should totally happen. Yeah, because doesn't three start before two, but ends at the same time? Yes, it's slightly before and ends at. Well, it ends after two because two they get out through the lab after that explosion, but th at the end of three, it's a missile that takes out yeah, Raccoon and, they go off and in the helicopter. finishes it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it ends after two. Yeah. Yeah. So they could easily do it and that would be really cool, I think. Kind yeah. of bridge that whole story together. And re-release it on the PlayStation 1. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. They probably couldn't do that. No, they probably no. couldn't. But that would be cool though. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, so that that's a stand on that. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, Wells82 just says a room tour, a big thumbs up. Yeah, so we should do that. We want, had a few uh, suggestions room for room tours, so we'll get on that. Yeah, so that's something that's coming up. Um, Christian Denning. Hey. Right, lads. Okay. Oh, mm. You are tied down to a chair. Oh. Where's this going, Christian? Mm. <laughs> oh, you can pick one game to play. And if oh, you die okay. in the game, you die in real life. Ah, oh, Dark Souls. You get one life. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you choose? Um, uh, I'd say, well, just because I know it so well, Resident Evil 2. And it's also my favourite game. Yeah. So I feel pretty confident I could get through that without dying. 
Well, it's boring because I'd say Resident Evil 1 because <laughs> it's the game I know the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, not Resident 7. You can get through that pretty good now. Oh, uh, yeah, I can get through that pretty good. But I I mean, I, I did the, the Resident Evil, the, the remake one. Yeah. Um, I even got the trophy for doing it without saving. That's how confident I am with that game now. Yeah, so those so, games, uh, like, we'll, we'll be good at that. Yeah, I think... Yeah. Uh, we could be, we could we could beat that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. stay alive yeah. for the win. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do like a, a, a live run where if we do die in the game it's we just, it's just it's just over. It's just over. So it could be a real epic <laughs> stream or it could be over in five minutes and it's like, Oh well, yeah. sorry for wasting your time. Yeah. <laughs> Something to think uh, to think about anyway. Yeah, yeah, definitely <laughs> not gonna do a Dark Souls one. New. Next. Next. So thank you for uh, <laughs> your your question there. Thank you. Uh what and trying to get another question. Yeah, it's kind of mixed in with other. It's all mixed in. Too. Well, I can't even go in. So uh, Xander says Nintendo saddens me. Oh. I already have Resident Evil Revelations one and two on 360 and PS4, and the NES on my PSV with every game. Why no completely different new games? Innovation with these games seems to be lost these days. You, you really think so? You really think so? I mean, okay, I agree to some to to some degree um, because there is a lot of remakes and rehashes around and but I think it's just a way of I mean obviously when they made the games originally they wanted to make them a certain way to a certain polish but they couldn't because of technology limitation and now that they have access to better technology and some of those games did really well so it is nice to see them polished and yeah. remastered up and, and put on the new hardware in glorious HD and I, I think that's good uh, um, but it is taking away time from developing other stuff. Because we, we have seen a drop-off, haven't we, of exclusive titles. New, yeah, new IPs are yeah. kind of dead now. Well, I wouldn't say dead, but they're, yeah, they're very few and far between. between. Yeah. You maybe get one a year, maybe, if you're lucky. Possibly, the rest yeah. are all just sequels and remakes. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, I do see your point. But... And the new IPs that are coming are costing absolute millions and taking teams of like 300 people years to develop yeah so we're always waiting for those but in the meantime we're getting a lot of rehashes um you know uh, smaller indie developers uh, like stuff that's like you know coming in between kind of thing you know yeah and i think it's good for developers to test the water so they're like they're bringing resident evil to the switch yep and if that does really well then they obviously know there's a market there with the switch that want resi so then they yep. can maybe go a away and when they do make the new resi it'll be available on the switch yeah absolutely i mean when, when uh obviously um when the gamecube came out and they re-released the the remakes of resident evil one and then they did zero yeah and then they re-released that although they didn't graphically update them much they did all of them didn't they yeah Two, three, uh, code, veronica. code veronica i mean i did a lot of i mean obviously i grew up with the playstation one but i played a lot of the gamecube versions of, of resident evil and resident yeah. evil 4 and and my favorite version of resident evil 4 is on the nintendo wii with that motion control it's it's beautiful <laughs> yeah it's it beautiful work really well so like Resident Evil became a very, a very much a Nintendo experience for me. So if that came to the Switch, I'd just die with joy. <laughs> so hopefully that would happen. Yeah. I, I hope that does happen. Yeah. 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 So there you go. That, but yeah, more new of, yeah. IPs and stuff. They are, they are on the way, but we're just having to wait a lot longer for them. I think. Yeah. 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 Right. They'll come. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks, Xander. Thanks for your question. Thank you. William C5233. Hey, hey, William. Thanks for answering my question, guys. No problem. Mm -hmm. He says, since he's been playing the PC ports of the Legacy of Kane series, yep. he was wondering what our thoughts are on PC ports. PC ports, well... That, well, it's just specifically that aren't optimised properly. And well... The, and the devs don't care. The, the screaming, <laughs> smoking gun here is obviously going to be Arkham Knight. That's going to be a reference because that still doesn't work on PC, does it? No. Yeah, I think that game got pulled like two it, or three times. Pretty, yeah, yeah. it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. Um, yeah, it just didn't work across the board, did it? I don't know, PC ports, uh, it depends really. I mean, PC and console gaming are getting so close nowadays that it's kind of, it doesn't really matter anymore. I'd, I'd say earlier on, well, it depends, doesn't it? Because if it's optimized for console, then the PC is going to struggle with it. Yeah. Um, and I think the, the, the other problem is, I think games are being developed more for console first because everyone's locked in on a console. You buy a PlayStation 4, everyone's got the same spec, everyone's got the same speed, same access to RAM and all that kind of stuff. So 
your experience is going to be the same across the board. With PC, everyone's got different specs, running different graphics cards, different, different operating RAM, systems. different operating systems. It's a minefield of disastrous problems. However, saying that, are we going to see this when it comes to console gaming? Because it's Xbox One, for example. Xbox One. Xbox One S, different spec. Xbox One X, different spec. PS4, PS4 Pro, different spec. Yeah. So are we going to see issues? Like well, the same I don't, sort of issues? I don't think so because even though, yeah, they are different specs, they're not wildly different. And the only things that are different are things that are just going to boost the fidelity of the graphics and the frame rate speeds. Maybe. So I don't think there's... It's not like they're going to have like a vastly different brand of graphics card. No, or, there is that, Or yeah. different they're, brands of memory sort of and, and, and it, yeah. CPUs and stuff. It's the same architecture, so everyone's locked into that. And I prefer that. That's why I've always preferred console gaming. Because you know you're just guaranteed to have the same experience as the next guy. Yeah. The, the amount of times I'd go into school and like someone would say, oh, have you played this the latest game? Like on, on You can get it on PC. Like Far Cry was one of them. My yeah. mate could play it perfectly. I tried to play it and he was like, uh, 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 yeah. uh, all the shadows look weird. And I was like, well, that's terrible. I've got to spend another 80 quid specking up my PC to get it to run the damn thing. So yeah, I just gave up with PC after a while because I couldn't yeah. keep up with it. It's expensive. <laughs> Who's got that kind of money? No PC one. Gamers. PC gamers. PC gamers. <laughs> yeah, so I hope that answered your question. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have a bit of a rant, but there a you bit go. bit of a rant, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so thanks, uh, William, for your question. Um, Steve McCourt, got to read this one out. He said he's sitting on the beach in Turkey watching this week's show because he couldn't wait till he got back. Nice. <laughs> wow, so we've been watched on a beach in Turkey. That's yep. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he also says he doesn't hear us talking about the Vita much. I Does mean, anyone? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, mine's, mine's sat on the side now, gathering dust. And yeah. I used to use it every now and again when I'd go out or if I was just in bed and wanted to mm. play a console. But now it's the Switch. The Switch has the taken Switch that position the thing, because yeah. there's nothing for the... I mean, okay, it's unfair to say there's nothing for the Vita because there is a lot. But they're either you have to import them or they're just little indie titles. Yeah, yeah, there's not much big coming out for it. And also, I mean... I like the fact, I'm going to go on a bit of a handheld rant, because if you buy a handheld, right, you play it when you're out and about, or when you don't have access to a regular console. I, yeah. I mean, maybe other people are different, but I find it difficult to sit down on a sofa while I've got a massive 60-inch TV in front of me to play on a 3DS, or, you know, or a Vita or whatever. When I'm at home, that's when I've usually got time to play video games. Yeah, not when you're so, out and about. Not when, if I'm out and about, I'm doing something. And, mm -hmm. you know, I can't be at the pub and whip out my <laughs> whip out my PlayStation uh, Vita and start playing while all my friends are talking, yeah. socialising, you know. Yeah. Anyway, um, but <laughs> yeah, that? so, but the Switch is different. I take the Switch everywhere with me. Yeah. And I always have a little blast at work. Or, and then when I get home, plugging it in and having that console experience is just awesome. Yeah, but that's the other thing. With the Switch, when you go out and you want to use it, if you're with a mate, you can set it up, give him the other controller, and you can play together. Yeah. Where the, on the Vita, it's like, oh, yeah, sorry, I've only got one controller. Yeah, th this is it. This is it, yeah. <laughs> you can't play two-player unless yeah. you hold the one side. Case in point, tomorrow at my workplace, we're actually having a Street Fighter 2 tournament with the IT department. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a bit intense. But it's all on the switch, so we're, we're using our switches and sitting setting up in the IT room and having a proper tournament on Street yeah. Fighter Two. Can't you, do that. You with can't the Vita. do that with the Vita. No. Nope. So it's a it's a portable with the best thing. But yeah, so the Vita's kind of lost on me, really. I just I, I wouldn't have a purpose for it. No, same here. No. I I very rarely use mine then. So get a switch if you if you want a console for out and about. Yep. Um, thanks, so thank, thank you for that, Steve. Uh, Steve and Clark now. Hey. Have you guys heard of the Wizdish Rover? Nope. It's a VR system <laughs> which runs oh. on a moving platform. Oh, wait. Is yeah. this the thing that like you kind of scrape your feet against? It's yeah, like so a it, it apparently here. stops motion sickness. Um, his, the, where he works, manufactures some of the parts for it. Oh, right. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, they're going to bring one to him on the Tuesday. So if that was Tuesday just gone, let us know in the comments what it was like. Yeah, yeah. Send us one. Yeah, you know, <laughs> to see what you can do. You know, yeah, talk to yeah. your people. Ask the question. You yeah, know, we'll, you know, we'll give them a shout out. Just put it out there. You know, yeah. you just all you got to do is ask. Worst they could say is no. Yeah, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to have a go on it. And yeah, as I said, if you had, if you did have a go, let us know in the comments what it was like. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love be, to hear that. Yeah, yeah, really interested to hear that. So we've only got a couple more. Yep. Um, Andy M. 
Oh, you're in again, are you? I don't know if it's the same Andy M. It's a different display. Oh, he said, he said ignore the other post. Ignore the other post. Well, right. we answered it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but what game would you like on the Switch that's been out on a different console? Not retro games. Mm, not retro games. It's been out on a different console. Ooh. Um, I think Fallout would be pretty good on it. Fallout on the Switch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fallout, Fallout 4, maybe. Probably coming after Skyrim, let's maybe. be honest. Let's let's hope so. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Doom would be cool on the Switch. Oh, Doom would be awesome on yeah, the Switch. Yeah, like, uh, not the retro version, the, the, the latest Doom. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I did have a really good answer for this, but it's completely gone. <laughs> it's gone. No, I was just like Dark Souls. Dark Souls oh, would, yeah. would be pretty good. Yeah, that I'm would not be sure cool. it would work well in public when you keep dying. I'm I mean, screaming at yeah, the top of yeah, your lungs. And I'm not sure how time. robust it is when you throw it. I haven't tested that yet. No, although that one YouTube channel did, they dropped it like... They dropped it like a thousand feet, didn't yeah, they? And it yeah, and it survived. It survived. So, yeah, Mental. so it could definitely handle Dark Souls. So yeah. I'd say Dark Souls. Good, good answer. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thanks, Andy. And lastly, lastly, David Reynolds. Hey, David, how's it going? Hey, guys, greetings from Northern Ireland. Hi. Hello, Northern Ireland. Hello there, top, top of the morning to you. That was probably really bad. <laughs> I'm going to apologise on his behalf. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my question is this. Do you think that because proper home console gaming has been around now for over 25 or so years, yeah. that most originality and uniqueness has disappeared from most modern games? No. Good um, answer. <laughs> no, uh, only because I think the indie developers are taking up that mantle and all the innovation and new ideas and quirky and interesting things are coming again from bedroom developers and people that are setting up small teams and the technology is so much more accessible nowadays that anyone can make a video game. Yeah. I mean, we, we started one. We haven't finished yeah. it yet. No, we, we probably could, but we're, you know, we're obviously busy doing other things. Apparently making video games takes a lot of time. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do that as long, along with yeah. the YouTube channel. No. But as uh, if we really, if we really stuck with it, I mean, as far as we got was we got an animation of a character walking, jumping across platforms, and firing a crossbow. So and killing enemies. And killing enemies. Yeah. So we, we've actually got the bare bones of a game there. But yeah. um, so my point was, anyone could uh, 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 come up with a game concept and and innovate something now, and that's open to anyone. You could go and do it yourself. You know, yeah. just go and get a computer, learn some tutorials. And, and make a video game. So I think the the limit really now is the imagination. But with big companies, they limit themselves by what works. Because, what sells. I mean, yeah. you, you, uh, David, you brought up a good point in your comment saying that developers are under a lot more pressure to put yes. sales and profits now. Exactly. So it's not about the games anymore. It's, it's about, about a safe bet. Yeah, and we'll take Destiny a couple of years ago as yep. a perfect model. Lot, lot of... Well, not a lot of game, but you've got to pay to keep getting the experience, and that's, yep. that's what they want. They just want to keep drip, drip feeding. Basically, the, 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 the AAA industry now is about a business model yeah. rather than an entertainment experience. Yeah. And I think I have the most fun when I'm playing older games and indie developed games uh, because I just find them a hell of a lot more fun. Yeah. A lot of the modern stuff is all the same it's, because it's yeah. safe, because it works, because yeah. people buy it. But... I always look for different things and I like games to just surprise me in different ways and and the indie scene is where it's at for that. Yeah, because so. a game doesn't have to be 20, 30, 40 hours long. Sometimes that's yeah. too much. You don't. Yeah. A lot of people now don't have that sort of time to put in a game. I would much rather play an indie game for two hours yeah. and thoroughly enjoy what I played. There was a, there was a game, now forgive me, I, I think it was called something like It's Behind You or something and it was a 2D platformer that I played on the Ouya when it came out and it was just a very basic it was like Atari graphic Atari 2600 graphics but it was really hard it was a platformer it was very difficult and but I completed it in 20 minutes but it was very difficult like you know a yeah, lot of the yeah, puzzles yeah. and the challenges were just extremely difficult to, to to get through but it was awesome I think it was called Don't Look Back I think it was called Don't Look Back. I'll figure it out and put put a link in the description because it, it's awesome but <laughs> my point is again that was a uh, not a very long game at all. Didn't have crazy good graphics, but it was really entertaining and really yeah. surprising. Mm -hmm. So I think the indie sector is just going to lead us on and keep leading us towards those new IPs and they're just going to keep pushing it. And then you're probably going to get your bigger companies like Marvel, you know, Disney. They're going to be bringing out games like they're bringing out the new Star Wars game, the the one that was going to be 1313, but it's now yes. not. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to have your big franchises that are movie based and then you're going to have 
your AAA that are just going to keep pumping out Assassin's Creed every year and Call of Duty's left, right and centre and your Red Dead Redemptions and your Gears of Wars. Yes. They're all going to come the, out. The safe bets. The safe bets. And yeah. then you've got the indie sector just driving all that innovation. So go and support them. Yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah, definitely indie's the way forward. Um, so thanks, Dave. Your says cheers, guys. Keep up the good work. And do you have any pets? Uh, I used to. They all died. I have a cat. <laughs> What's his name? Arnie. Arnie. <laughs> is it like Arnold Schwarzenegger? After Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yes, of it course. is. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to have a dog. Uh, a St. Bernard. He was big. Called Winston. But uh, that was many years ago was now. Big. My yeah. only memory of that dog was when he ran at me. <laughs> yeah, he, did. he liked to do that. Like eye level. Yeah, he mm -hmm. was. He was. He was sixteen stone. Mm -hmm. His paw was as big as my hand. Like he, huge. Big dog. Big animal. Yes. Anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> is that all the questions? That's all the all questions. Done? They're all the comments. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks very much for that. And of course, if you'd like to join in in this little discussion where we read out comments, uh, drop them down in the comments section below, and we'll read them out next week on our next update. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. I thoroughly have, and uh, we'll see you again very soon. As always, I've been Bren. I've been Jay, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. bye. bye.